So here we go, guys, with our sixth fight on the Victory Kickboxing Series, which is a K1 fight between Mantas from BBSK and Philippe Diaz from Team Fuzetta. Uh, Team Fuzetta, obviously, you know, Mario Sergio Fernandez. Uh, they've got some good fighters coming out of that club recently, actually. You know, I hadn't heard of them until recently, but uh, they're starting to be very, very active. Um, you know, we took, a, we took a trip down there and had a little, spent a little bit of time filming and speaking with those guys there, and it's a great club. Uh, Mario's obviously, you know, he's got some really good experience. <laughs> Mantas, obviously, is a big, big lad. Uh, long, long legs, well-muscled legs as well. Yeah, and he can move very, very good. I believe Mantas is um, Mantas' strong point, as you can see from the oh, office, is very boxing. strong near from Mantas straight away. Of oh, some beautiful He's got combinations some... from Mantas. Yeah, yeah, it's working well with the hands there, Mantas at the minute. And the thing is, he's got quite a, a good little bit of boxing background as well. He's definitely using that to his advantage at the moment. Yeah, absolutely. Diaz, is, uh, he had one K1 bout about six years ago. Uh, he's been training the whole time, but he's not been competitive. So he was saying to me, this does feel like his debut fight, if he's completely honest. Um, he's dropped quite a lot of weight to get here today as well, hasn't he? Yeah, he has. He's dropped down from 98 kilos at the start of the year um, to compete today here around 85 kilos. Um, but to be fair, you know, I do know that he's been sat at around 86, 87 kilos for, a, for the, uh, quite a while now, so he's not dropped too much weight to get his fight. But when you look at Manas, he's a big 85. He is. He's, yeah, absolutely. And uh, that's 85 of muscle. He's that is. Very, very lean. But Mentos has just slowed down a little bit. Yeah, he has a feel he may have had a slight adrenaline dump and uh, he has just slowed down ever so slightly. So let's look to see if he can get some good boxing techniques out. Oh, a lovely right hand there by Mentos. I mean, uh, Diaz just flew back there. You could see that that was a really heavy shot. Get back in your feet. Get back in your position. Now go, now go. Straight right to the body, yeah? Nice. Come up with a left hook to the head. Straight right to the body, left hook to the head. Off the jab. Mantas getting some nice single shots off, though. His, his, his mouth is hanging open. He does look very, very tired. I don't know if he's completely ruined himself out in that. That first 30 seconds. Yeah, notice as well, he's moving around with his mouth wide open yeah. as well. That's usually a telltale sign. Just might need that few seconds in the corner of his coach just to sort of calm himself back down. Yeah, bring I mean, it, back on the, uh, the it does topic. happen as well, Ryan. You do get that adrenaline dump you where you're going really strong. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you can you can have a minute, a minute and a half of adrenaline, and then once that dies off, all of a sudden you feel like just the thing. I, I know how fit Mantas is. I've done ten rounds straight sparring with him. I mean, the, the kid is fit. So this is just an uh, adrenaline dump by the look of it. Let's see if he levels out and comes back uh, with a little, a little bit more pace at the start of the second round. Obviously, Mantas two and two boxing, two and two light con. Uh, he's, he's fought in like cage setups on other promotions in boxing matches in cage and that kind of thing. So. You know, I, I can't see him getting nervous under these lights. I no, think he should be quite composed. No, he will do. All he wants to do is fight. He just wants to get in there and do what he's training every single day to do. It's a nice composed shot there by Mantas. Diaz, good return there from Diaz with a leg kick. Yeah, very nice leg kick. Some nice spinning technique as well. I don't know if that landed clean from where I was sat, but it was a, it was a nice attempt. I think he just needs to be careful not to see, leave himself too open with anything too extravagant. Sit back a little bit, sit back a little bit, that's it. That's where you need to be, hands tight. Now let's look for what we want from there. Drop to the body with a straight right if you have to. Spain to the head first, Spain to the head first. Shot. And let's come up with a screw shot from that. Let's come up with a screw shot from that. Lovely left hook there from Mantas. Yeah, that was a very nice counter, actually. It was great timing. I 
think he's, he's looking for the uh, for the one two with the right hand there, Ryan. And the thing is, he's doing it at a distance as well because he's got such a good long reach on his opponent at the moment. Yeah, I mean, he's a difficult fighter to fight against because of that reach. And, uh, you know, he doesn't rush in. He does like to sit back and let the hands go. Lovely uppercut there by Mantas. Yeah, there's a couple of nice shots there from Mantas, and I feel he's just taking the time to just pick his shots, not waste that energy. He's already tired, and he's just making sure that any energy he does expend is actually going to be shots landed. Yeah, he's, he's, he's shots hit some clean board. shots in both of them rounds for me. Um, but I noticed what sort of jutters him is he'll hit a few clean shots, he'll get one clean shot back and that'll make him pull back. Rather than take the shot, move and then counter, he'll step back, which I think his coach he wants him to unload a bit more and take that shot. But considering Diaz has been out of the ring for quite a while, a long, long time, yeah. I think he's holding himself in there quite well. Yeah, absolutely, and I can see Mario just uh, just giving him some some intense words there in the corner. Um, I mean, obviously Mario Sergio Fernandez from Team Fuzeta. You know, he said he's got some great experience. Obviously, his son Ricardo Fernandez is a, quite a, a, a relatively high-level fighter as well. You know, he's had some really good training um, with him. You know, he's, he's trained some really good people there. He trains with Scott Butters. Um, so, you know, some good fighters that, uh, that spend time with Mario, and, uh, and Mario's been training and coaching for a long, long time. A great left there by Diaz. On charging. Sit back. Look at what you're doing. Assess your work. Assess your work. Let's go now. Come on, where's the drop? Where's the drop? I feel Diaz is maybe just a little too cautious to mix it up with Mantas at the moment. Uh, perhaps he's felt some power in that, in that first round that you know has maybe just put him off ever so slightly. Yeah, he's, he's sticking to the back foot a little bit too much, but when Mantas does drop that lead leg in, he's Diaz is hitting him with some crunching leg kicks. The problem with this is you have to remember this is a K1 fight, guys. So it's got to be aggressive. You are scored on aggression. You can't. It's very, very, very difficult to win a K1 fight off the back foot without. Is. Uh, without putting your man away, so you know, I feel that that, that is also going to be a factor in this. And Mantas knows that as well, that's why he has come out, he has been the main aggressor for the last two rounds. The has to and uh, making good work the clinch though to, to muscle himself out of that corner there and not be bullied into the corner. Mantas just stalking Diaz now. So get, get some good knees in there as well, Mantas. I feel he's, uh, he's looking to try and get in there and finish yeah, this is. one. I think he's going for a bit of WWE there. <laughs> yeah, obviously, I think Diaz is just going to be warned by, uh, by our referee there for, for picking up. I think pole drivers have come into K1 yet, have they? <laughs> <laughs> Probably won't be long to see him in the UFC <laughs> the way things are going. Uh... Lovely right hand from Mantas and also making use of the knee as well. There you go, Ryan. Um, interesting fight. Uh, you know, for what it's worth, I'm happy to see Diaz get to the end of that fight, especially without the fight started. Yeah, definitely. 
Um, you know, there was always the danger that he was going to be bullied out of the fight. Obviously, he took the back foot for a long time. But, uh, you know, he did stay in there. He did score some good leg kicks as well. And not just that, you can say Diaz had a, a lot of things going against him to start the fight. The inactivity, the fact that there's a massive reach between the two opponents. And basically, the more aggressive. Nunez was so aggressive. But he stayed in there for three rounds. You know, so... But at the end of the day, from what we see, it doesn't matter. It's yeah. all down to what the judges see at the end of the day. Yeah, absolutely. And let's see what the judges have seen. Let's see uh, the decisions are in now. So, uh, yeah, let's see what they make of it.